active and passive hip flexion. A lot of times hip flexors are tight because they are weak. So we're working on building strength at the end range of motion. So just begin by pulling your knee up to your chest and supporting it with your hands and getting nice, feeling a nice deep stretch for a moment, trying to avoid kind of tucking the tail and bending the knee and arching the back and trying to squirm into the position. Just go as high as you can in comfort and with a little bit of tension through that hip flexor. Then go ahead and let go and see if you can hold your knee there for three to five count. Repeat the same leg before switching to the other leg. If the knee drops a little bit when you let go, that's okay. Continue to try to maintain that hold.